Well, everybody, it is September 28th, 2024 at the Fall Brookline New England Vintage Electronics event. And uh, we have a great day in weather. Uh, we have a great crowd and a lot of people. And of course, entrance in is uh, entrance hailed by our own Chuck, who does a great job of checking in the vendors and checking in all the public. And, you know, we appreciate that the man of the front gate is the guy that really is uh, does a lot of the work and, and under appreciated. So thank you, Chuck. But uh, at any rate, so we're going to do a walkthrough. And uh, so we're going to get to Rogers and Susie's table. Rogers a fixture here, always at the same place at this meet. And uh, so we have, Roger always has radios, radio parts, things like that. So uh, we've got Roger on here again. Apologies. Hello, Roger. Are we doing this again? Yep. Do you need any parts? Yeah. Get par any parts? I yeah, I'd radios. say so. Pretty well tied up. In fact, you have more parts than you have radios this time. Yeah, I know. I know. But that's okay. That's okay. People next need time, parts. Next time they have radios. Yeah. That's all right. Well, we'll... I stole all the parts out of those radios. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they'll be just shells, right? Yep, so it'll be just a shell. But I won't tell anyone, will you? <laughs> What's that? I said, I won't tell anybody. No, 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 no. no. Okay. Okay. The you secret is safe with us. <laughs> well, Roger, I always appreciate you being here. Okay, Thanks. Thank you. You do a great job. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. And moving right along. So we have, uh, this is John Weatherill's table here, and we've got a variety of, we've got this antique cell phone. Well, five bucks, I guess, back in the day, it was probably about a thousand bucks. But um, looking at his, uh, John always has a wide variety of things. So let me check out this vintage camera and uh, these Henry Close Actually, they were pretty good systems. I had one of those, and I thought they were actually pretty good, and actually a much cheaper and almost as good-sounding alternative to Bose. Um, but uh, and here we have Bill Chenette's table here. So we got the RCA Victor AMF radio. Come along. Hi, Bill again. Sorry about that. Okay, and moving on to Jim's table here. And he has some neat Edison uh, cool records. You know, and there's Jim again. Oh, I have a bunch of all that. Yeah, my favorite is uh, the nice ones that I have to play. Super phase radio receiver. He's a gay 90s. Look at that. So, um, uh, there's some, we have a really good crowd here. And we're back at Brian's table. Yes, I'm doing the video again. I ended up powering down my piece inadvertently. So I have to redo it. Yeah, I'm back again. I'm back to harass, Brian. Back to harass. But uh, yeah, I ended up powering down my, my uh, tablet inadvertently when I was doing this. So I had to reshoot it. But at least I didn't have to go very far. I only started down this row, so it wasn't too bad. But but you get to be tortured twice. Lucky you. Okay. Yeah, that's good stuff. And you're, I want to make sure I catch everybody's table. And of course, look at this. I mean, this, uh, this Coronado is just absolutely beautiful for those who might want something a little bit unusual. And it's a nicely, nicely restored. It as good as it looks, too, I, by the way. I don't doubt it, Brian. You, oh, your work is beyond reproach. But well, thank I you. I haven't had too many failures. Most everything I do comes out okay. That's good to know. Well, Brian, we'll always keep you keep you in mind. Okay. Thank you. See you later. All right. So let's see here. We got this. Another zenith. Holocrafters. Uh, that's why it doesn't work. There's no battery. In and uh, hello, hello. Just doing a little video of the event. Make sure I catch everybody's table. And uh, Henry Tessier. Yeah. Not just the mouthwash. Hey, how you doing? There you go. Henry's. A, Henry's a uh, fixture here. Nice digital Look at this. Look at this Tektronics. Yeah. I guess a lot of people like me would rather just use the signal tracer. Yeah. So, yes. Now I got a wide variety of things over here. It's just uh, what you find is all over the ground, but you, you know what it is. You have to pick through the various goodies and you'll find something. Got records. 
lots of things. This is member, this is past president Howard Mariotti's table, and he's got a bunch of vintage tools. This stuff looks like something you'd use in the Three Stooges that Mo, Larry, and Curry would bang each other over the head with. And uh, Howard always has some neat stuff. He has some an interesting uh, vintage grill cloth. Um, for you radio restorers who need grill cloth, it might be worth checking in. And Howard has some very fair prices. This neat uh, marine radio direction finder. Wow. Lodestar. Somehow I always thought that was an international truck. But, uh, but here we have some interesting military radios here. Um, get some resets here from army sets or whatever. Really neat stuff. Transponders. Good stuff. Okay, moving right along. What do we got here? Oh, we got lots of CDs, speakers, parts. For your local love, Law and Order UK. This is the place to be. Um, various parts. You know, good stuff. You just have to keep picking through to find the thing, the part, or component you need. And this gentleman here is always here. He's a fixture, sells various restoration parts, connectors, um, and also has some interesting keys here. But uh, you know, you have wire cutters and uh, all sorts of things. But yeah, he's been here for years. You know, and uh, some parts, lots of connectors here. Looking for connectors. This is the place to go. They've got us some capacitors, lots of good stuff here. And moving right along, okay, we've got the AK, we've got, we've got a whole variety of things here. Let's see, we go down here and so we've got, we've got parts cases. Those are actually pretty useful. You know, you never know for those small parts you could use something like that. Got a scope, a couple of transceivers. All right. All right, Jeff. This is where I, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna do this again. <laughs> right here is Jeff Cornelius' table. Jeff always has some good pieces. Always interesting things. Oh, look at all this good stuff. Some nice radios. You got a national. Receiver, transceiver, this neat, unusual multi-band radio. Not very seen very often. But uh, any good words for the uh, for the viewers here, Jeff? Good word. Any good word? No good word. Come by the radios. I don't want to take them home. Yes. That is as good a sage advice as you can get. <laughs> Thank you there. But uh, oh, this is fun, a, a uh, Radio Shack multi-band radio for those who have a warm spot for Radio Shack. And it's a nice piece, a nice Emerson. Of course, no, no radio show is complete without at least one or more transoceanic from Zenith. This one, H500C. Good stuff. Oh, let's keep walking along here. This is lots to see. Oh, we've got re cases for radios. We've got books. We've got all sorts of stuff on the ground. And uh, records. Hello, Harry. And uh, what we got here? we got some modern stuff at Sherwood and some test equipment, Ico. Got a half a boom, two thirds of a boom box. Of pieces, uh, heat to giant in case you want to anticipate the cold upcoming New England weather. And uh, well, we got Star Wars here. And of course, various probably 80s Sony and Yamaha pieces, speakers. Okay, now here we have someone who really takes tailgating seriously. Look at this, we got an Echo Phone EC1 and this very nice RCA Victor AM radio, just really nicely done. And this uh, this terrific Heath kit, CR78. And 
and uh, the Zenith and uh, World Radio Core Standard Model from Boston. Nice local radio, Peerless Magnet. Wow, some nice stuff here. And we got a few other things. This Freed Iceman Model 40 receiver. And moving right along, we got lots and lots of parts. And uh, test equipment, I would say. Oh, a transceiver, pardon me. And so what, what device is this? Right I'm here. Sorry? What device is this that I'm looking at? So it's one. It's one half of a uh, of a uh, wafer test screen. Oh. Uh, probe station, I guess. Okay. Uh, the other the half that's missing is uh, the electronics. I see. Um, so this uh, this portion this holds the wafer, and that's a uh, uh, three-axis uh, positioner for you know for, uh, shutting you know the probe. Interesting. Not something you see very often. Well, they, it caught my eye, so I had to have it. <laughs> it's 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 one of a one of a kind. I've never seen one before. I, I mean, that was the first one I ever saw. Well, that's great. Well, thank you. But it's just trying to take a video of everybody's tables, post it on our YouTube site. Yep. Very good. And here is Bill Dunn's table. What a neat Elroco radio. This is really actually an attractive looking radio with the cabinet, um, the two-tone brown. It's really in terrific condition um, when you look at it. And uh, back here he's got a nice outward of Kent. And nice Philco. Now look at the Sakai. I mean, that's actually a nice piece for a hundred bucks. I mean, you can't go wrong with that because it's really it's in terrific condition. I mean, look at the shape of this thing. It looks brand new. You know, Bill always has some good stuff. And uh, it's a nice, there's Bill himself go head deep in at a Zenith console here. But uh, maybe doing a little diagnosis while we're here. Yeah, I got off um, one of those knocked down in a crate. Move right along. Really Look, we got a bunch of, got a national, and some other pieces here. And, uh, now look at this gentleman selling this two piece Magnavox um, stereo. This is the speaker, and it has actually an inside cabinet to hold uh, records. But if I go in over here, we find its sister cabinet, which is which has the the receiver and the amplifier in there, and that's the second speaker. What a terrific set! If I had the space, I'd love to own this myself. But isn't it the truth with all our cases is finding the space? But. Uh, this gentleman has, you know, some interesting, this is kind of a neat GE portable, portable radio with the swing out speakers and some Heath kit, some various potentiometers. Wow, neat stuff. Hello there. Just doing a little video for uh, the club, for the event. So plenty of tube carriers. And here we are with yet another, another Zenith Transoceanic. And another creep. Wow, you never see two in one, in one day. That's unusual. And uh, amplifier and yeah, that's a worst place, believe it or not, two reeds in one day. I know. I just I looked. I said, "Wow, you know what happened here? Is someone like mass producing these suddenly?" But you don't actually see these two in a two in a show, no less one in a show. Yep. Oh, thank you for bringing it. And they were both of they at the show were in terrific condition. Over there, the case is scratched up more and. Uh, Unknown whether it works or not. This is guaranteed to work. That's good to know. That's a really nice shape, and I love the fact that it's got all the everything you know, to it. All the information. The wow, terrific. Well, thank you. Okay. All right, so let's see what else we got here. We got various, uh, various uh, goodies here a strobe, a Bose, one of those Bose wave radios. And, Sony and uh, Toshiba speakers, stuff like that, and uh, got some amplifiers, wanted old radios, 
And uh, of course, it's always exciting to go to Tom Pereira's table. Of course, we know him as the ever enigmatic Tom Pereira, the, the uh, Enigma Museum. And here is in action this Russian Cold War, the Alka. This is where I think go. Pretty cool, huh? That's a real treat to see one in operation, especially with the uh, civilian characters. Fun. And of course, here is a genuine enigma that Tom has restored worth, well, let's just say you need a mortgage for this. But, uh, but Tom has his books, he has a book on the enigma. He's our world, he's one of our worldwide experts. And here's Merrill's table, which Merrill always has some fine early radios um, and this and this here we have this Trago oh pardon me uh, we have some other pieces here there's Merrill there we're gonna probably sitting there thank you Merrill and Merrill's brought some books too and somebody looking like they're kicking the, the uh, kicking the tires here I'm moving right along Let's see, we have a really good turnout. Apparently about 39 tables were sold, which is a record for outside. Well, you know, that's what uh, good weather brings. Uh, this gentleman is selling a bunch of interesting radios here. Um, this, uh, this deluxe world master radio. Neat, neat stuff. And look at this Atwater Kent. Wow, that's fun. Um, walking down here. You got some test equipment. You got parts. And just uh, just taking a video of your uh, of the whole show, so you get to be in the video. Oh, that's nice. so, this is Sherwood Morris. Hello, Sherwood. Yeah. Glad to. Sounds, sounds fun. Yeah. We're not going to be going home. Rich. And that's what's important. We're glad you you're glad you were able to make it. And hopefully, I see some things that moved off your table. So, yes. so that should have at least paid for your space. I think we did. Yeah. Yeah. I guess we all get to that to be in that position over time. You know, pare down. No matter what we collect, over time we have to pare down. <laughs> Find some other caretakers. We're just caretakers. That's right, yeah. we are caretakers of the treasures. And pass them on. Not only on. that, I can see what things sell for here, and if I'm keeping something that's worth two bucks or that ends up on the free table, I, I don't mind throwing it out. <laughs> 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 That's a good way to look at things, Sherwood. Perspective. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, glad to have you uh, both uh, here, and uh, I'll see you around. We're just going to run through, complete right. the video run. Yeah, thank you. Oh, you bet. And moving right along, let's see what we got here. And here's Paul Lavoie's table. Sadly, this is. Hello again. I'm taking the usual video. Hello, hello. hello. We're missing Paul, however. Yeah, he went that way. <laughs> I see. Maybe it's something to fill, you know, help fill the house again. But uh, here's a nice Grundig um, receiver. This is probably 1960, 61, 62, maybe latest. Uh, these take external speakers, but this is a nice piece. It does need some work, but it's in really good sh shape. And get the right set of speakers, and you are, and you get this restored, and it's a great system. Great, great system. Um, and moving right along, we got, oh, we got a radio frequency bridge. Wow. You never know what you're going to find at these events. Got the amplifiers. And all sorts of areas. Hello, hello. Taking the video for the club of everybody's tables. So you always can verify that you were there. All right, there you go. Now we have a, oh, he's got a wide variety of computers, he's got an old early Apple, he's got hats, you name it, you know, there's, you, look at all this computer equipment, probably 80s, late 80s, not early 90s stuff. And we're walking right down, walking along the line here, see what else we got going on here.
More parts. All right. And here's uh, Ross Hochstrasser's table because we always know when the Saba shows up, the Saba Freiburg 7, a really wonderful radio, by the way. Um, that was their top line radio in 1956. And uh, it has uh, automatic tuning. And uh, literally, you just that little toggle switch at the bottom. You just uh, turn to turn up to the right to tune up, or turn to the left to tune down. Uh, wonderful radios. Uh, in fact, if the back is open, oh, it's not too bad, because you would get to see the monster, famous green cone Saba speakers. They don't disappoint. And it has a nice KLH, desirable KLH set. It's only desirable. I never thought it would apply. Fred, Fred Iceman from the 20s radio. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. And if you're looking for various meters, pal meters, this is the place to be because there is this replete. With. And here's an interesting potentiometer. Wow. I just don't see these kind of things very often. More meters. Hello, gentlemen. Just doing a little video for the club of what people bring so they can find out what they missed out if they were foolish enough not to come. Interesting car radio. It's Mopar, so it's obviously some, something that went in probably a 60s Chrysler, I would say. 58. 58, okay. Neat. It's always fun to see these. No, oh, thanks for thanks for coming, guys. Thank you. Thanks for holding it. Wow. First time. I'll be back. Uh, oh, good. Glad. I hope uh, I hope uh, things have gone well for you guys. Yes. Oh, yeah, but also some neat stuff here. Speakers, all sorts of various parts. And moving right along, we've got the Hughes table, Hugh Bartarian's table. And Hugh has surely has an eclectic set of things available books. Um, and look at this Scott AM FM stereo receiver. So I'm not really getting this in very well. There we go. And uh, we've got a clocks, parts. A Heath Kit AMFM radio. Well, there you go. Hello, Hugh. There he is. There he is. Any words for our audience? Any no, it's sage a words? Nice day here. Nobody has yet to buy the Hamilton Beach prep maker, but and they're all the poor for it, Hugh. Some other things. They are all the poor. I looked at lots of interesting goodies people brought. Now, did you? So, did you come away with a few goodies? Oh, a couple. I got that uh, power resistor box, but I have a couple of show and tell items here, though. Oh, good. Well, that we we love show and tell. <laughs> By the way, here's the 1950s Spies wire recorder here. How cool! Look at that. So wow, in a terrific the condition. Fun. Yeah, so that they have hours of recording wow. on this thing. Wow, look that, at that. That this is piece cool. is holding the end of the wire down. Wow. So now you have to play it back and hear what right. scary well, things what were said. Spy saying. thing was on there, and then two other cool books. I don't know if anyone's familiar with the Merlin phone app for identifying birds, but this elements of magnetic tape recording. The app is out of Cornell's ornithology lab, and in the front of the tape recording book is a picture of Professor Kellogg from Cornell recording birds from 300 how, yards how away fun. That is in cool. 1957. That is neat. Okay, but the best is for the last, the high voltage DC power transmission out of an expired MIT uh, electrical engineer's house. Mm -hmm. I just grabbed it off the bookshelf on a lark. And inside it is inscribed to Dr. Van de Graaff from the author at Manchester College of Science and Technology in England. That is outstanding. And the, and the letter that goes along with it to wow. Dr. Van de Graaff. 
That is terrific. What a find, Hugh. This, this belongs in the uh, uh, Science Museum Theater of Electricity. Right. Or you'll be opening up your own Science Museum there, That's Hugh. It. Awesome. Thank, Thank you, you so you. much. You're welcome. Yep. All right, moving right along here. Oh, let's see, we have a place guy closing up shop here, but we have a gentleman from Minnesota that has some just terrific uh, transistor radios that he's restored. Take a look at these, these Zeniths that he's restored. They're nothing short of perfect. And of course, here's, uh, here's Lenny. I've taken the video, it's always for the club, and Gary, you get to be part of it, so. I know, I, well, at least I got the stills. So, but yeah, I was like, oh, where'd it go? But that's, you know, that's, that's the problem is like when I come back to do the video, some of the things that were on people's, you know, uh, seller's tables may have gone, flown the coop, whether it's back to their owner or to a new owner. But, uh, but Lenny, you always do great work. We always enjoy having you here. And, uh, yes, look at these Channel Master radios and just does terrific work. And they all, they're playing and sounding wonderful. Yeah, moving right along. So look at this. We have a. Have to. Whoop. Yeah, just have to hold this. We got this really old radio. What do we got here? It's a called a Lyric. American Mohawk Corp. Not, not something I've. I think I've ever seen before. Clearly from the twenties. Um, very interesting. I'm gonna go take a walk around the back and see what we got here. Oh, it's all closed off, but it's a nice little screen. Wow, you don't see that very often. I'll just look at that. But, uh, you touched it $25. <laughs> and if you have a picture, it's twice that, right? <laughs> and if you get the owner, the seller involves like another 25 or maybe even more. Some neat stuff you have in this Radiola 20. Yep. All the tubes look pretty yeah. clean. So they yeah, I know. It was actually going like to. Hundred dollars. Yeah. yeah, but that's in terrific condition with all the the um, the schematics and uh, just really terrific. Always fun to see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I just have like, to squeeze by. <laughs> Another. I just think it come over. Fred Iceman, early radio, Neutrodyne. It's good stuff here. And moving right along, let's see what else we got here. Hello. Let's see. Well, it looks like you have a bunch of old games and uh, old. Uh, oh, oh, look at that old oh, DVDs. DVDs. Oh, everybody loves Raymond. Who doesn't like that show? <laughs> Very good. Always glad in records. Always glad to have people sell all the variety of things. Gets you bound to find somebody who wants it. And let's see here. TV with apparently the original stand, so I'm told. This is a RCA Victor TV, the stand. Yeah. Needs a little bit of work, but looks all mostly all there. And these sweep TV sweep generator, and I got a whole variety of parts, tubes, tester, test equipment. Sure. More testers. Now here is just an interesting. Look at this, American Bosch Magneto Corp. How interesting. Early radio again, probably from. Oh, that's probably from the you know, late 20s, I suppose, 30 in that range. Actually, beautiful cabinetry. Not really that big when you look at it. Even the back is nicely covered up. Ah, I expect it to be opened up, but that's nice. And walking right along. <laughs> President Bob Harris on the phone, or at least pretending on the phone. But, uh, and of course, no, our famous free table at our Brooklyn shows never disappoint because there were probably more people at these tables than any other table in the place. And Roger, in fact, tried to figure out what he's coming home with. All right, Roger's already picking through the good stuff. Oh my gosh, look at this stuff. 
Now that'll that's win a crack to see it. What's, what's that? John, is these pieces of fiber? Really? Yep. Wow. How these ended up I here? Mean, maybe 20 years ago, I would be jumping at this, but today. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, all I seem to be repairing is boom boxes. <laughs> yeah, there's no fiber in boom boxes. No, no, you have to be good at plastic restoration these days in that regard. Wow. But still, look at that. We've got people going in there. All right. Well, we got, we got two guys from Maine going into the free table, seeing what they can bring home. Oh, no, you're dropping off. You're welcome. Oh, you're dropping off? Aha. Uh -huh. I see. More to come. Well, yeah. more to come. Oh, okay. So this is this is sort of the trailer. Uh, this is right, very. Right. What's a little bit scary is they got you two in a pair, which right. is, is probably going to be more disturbing because bad things are going to happen. Yeah, but if you touch me, you see what happens. Right? <laughs> oh, right. oh, right. Yeah. How are you feeling there? Pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, good, 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 good. Glad you're getting all right. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, you guys stay out of trouble, but I don't think you'll. Have, I don't think you, I don't think that'll be possible. Nice. Oh, look at that Panasonic. Oh, it's too bad. I'd almost consider it. I'll have to think about it. Maybe. But uh, the free table is a popular one. Okay, that'll work. Yeah, that'll be fine. Sure. Gentlemen, Howard, Hello, President Hello, ha everybody. President Bob Harris, any good words yeah. for the audience here? I got two past presidents and current president. The weather heads up. Well, back off a little bit. Thanks for coming. A lot of good stuff. A lot of good stuff. Yeah, no, it was a great turnout. Great weather. No, do come back. Come back. All right. Thanks, Bob. I'm gonna go inside now and take the video of the inside. All right. Now we're in the inside of the place, and this is where. People who worry about the weather will go and get their tables here, but 